I actually live in the um, in the same building as my studio, so the sheltering in place has been kind of sheltering at work. Um, so in that sense, things haven't changed that much. I didn't leave the building a lot to start with, and I don't actually leave very much now. So, you know, that aspect of life has stayed more or less the same. I typically work with a, a lot of staff, and um, and obviously, you know, everybody's working remotely right now. So we're trying to figure out how to kind of balance what people can do independently of the studio and how that can that work can be invested kind of in the future and in next year's projects and the projects that we do in the fall when we can actually come back together and work as a group. And in a lot of ways, the staff or the, the people that work in the studio are, the, um, are, are my hands in a lot of senses. So when they're not here, you know, it definitely changes the rhythm of how I'm producing things. It's forced me to think about how we make things in a different kind of way. You know, I had a notion that I could take advantage of this time to kind of work on new ideas, but it's more living through it and then kind of understanding the nature of kind of the creative process and the new, uh, in, in the post-COVID kind of world. You know, there was this intention to slow down over the summer and then to come back in, you know, in the fall, you know, full force at 120%, um, kind of with sharp ideas and really interesting projects. And now we're still gonna do that, but the, the kind of fundamentals of the world that we're coming back into are really gonna be changed. And it will be interesting to see how that, um, you know, the what the landscape of the kind of art world looks like when we kind of return to, to uh, when we return to it.